Hi there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Johnson and today I'm super excited to be taking this video because I have been delaying for ages and ages and I have been receiving a lot of questions about this. This video is going to be about my uh, journey starting with like my food vlog in London and the things that I have done, the mistakes that I have made and tips and tricks that I can give you if you're planning to start your own food blogging journey. Um, cool, okay, wow, <laughs> it feels like it's been a really long time uh, since I started. Um, I started my food blogging journey, um, I believe it was three, four years ago now, uh, when I started working for a company. And in that company, I uh, used to take food photos, do marketing for a couple of restaurants and my businesses. And when I started uh, doing marketing, uh, I came across uh, like bloggers to work with and influencers to invite and to come to our restaurant to try our food and write about it. And this is the this was the first time that I started getting really interested about food influencers uh, because it's a very niche uh, area and in Turkey I think I haven't heard any food influencers uh, back at home so after I moved to London this was like the first time that I actually started learning more discovering more about uh, specially food influencers this was my first discovery times and they were coming to our restaurant, enjoying our food and like taking photos and posting on their social channels so that their followers can learn more about our food experience, the restaurant, which was really cool. And um, then I started, after a while, I started thinking like, well, like they are doing it and um, like I love taking photos, I love trying food like what is the thing that is preventing me of doing like the same that what they are doing so that was my first initial thought stage um, and i had uh, a good amount of like instagram following as well at that time i don't know what is good or bad uh, like good amount of people or like a bad amount of follower number uh, but it was kind of like a nice amount to like start and um, you can even start from scratch as well it's, you don't need like a follower base or like an amount of like friends to start um, so anyway that was my initial thought stage so I started taking photos I, I was already taking photos for the restaurant so I started uh, using some of them, the ones that I really liked and like proud of, uh, on my social account as well, Instagram. And um, at that time I started sharing and my friends were a bit like, why are you sharing food photos? Because like I used to share like my life and myself and like places that I visit. And this was like a photo of a dish and my friends were a bit confused at that time so I explained uh, some of my friends some of my friends got frustrated and they started unfollowing and this was fine as well because they didn't want to see food photos all the time and after a while um, I kept on sharing because that's what I wanted to do and what I enjoy so I kept on going anyway um, I didn't listen to like negative comments or negative things that I was told like you shouldn't share your like food plate and things like that because I thought it is like a fo form of art uh, it's not just like showing off like here this is what I'm eating you should eat it as well type of thing like it is the art that goes into the effort that goes into the photos and like the beauty of it and um, it's kind of like excitement and showing the opportunities and the things that you can also like try and taste and enjoy as well so that I had a different point of view with um, a couple of my friends for example um, but yeah that was like the beginning of it so it wasn't like super easy like changing your content style straight away to food and like posting about dishes all the time and things like that but um, I had the opportunity to uh, eat a lot at, in our restaurant so whenever I was going um, 
to eat in our restaurant and it was a fine dining restaurant so the food was always like very pretty and everything so I, was start, I started taking photos and writing about them and it was also very interesting because it was Japanese cuisine and I was learning more and more about where the produce is coming from and like the wagyu meat for example or the Japanese fruits and vegetables, the Japanese rice, the sake and all the culture behind it and everything so it was very very interesting for me um, so it started like that and what happened after a while is it was recognized by other Japanese restaurants um, so a couple of other Japanese restaurants uh, asked me to like come and take photos for their food in exchange of like I can try their food and they, um, so I'll provide them with the photos afterwards it's, it was kind of like a collaboration so I said yeah why not like I'm gonna try your food and take photos which something that I really like and I was like oh okay so this is maybe how it works like maybe it spreads through like Instagram hashtags and things like that I, I was that was the first time that I got clicked I was like oh okay so I can get discovered maybe in this way like I just need to keep on doing what I'm doing <laughs> so I went to that Japanese place it was um, again like fine dining type of a Japanese restaurant I took photos for them and um, then uh, what happened actually then another um, another place that was like a new place that was opening uh, in the London for the first time actually they saw my uh, account and they invited me to come and try their food and just like give feedback and take photos and things like that and I was like super excited because like this was the second time um, that I was going and trying a place and people were finding me, sending me direct messages on Instagram and I was like wow this is like actually happening my dream is I think coming true type of a feeling at that time and um, actually at that time I promised one of my friends to take photos for um, her uh, son's birthday party so her my friend gave her camera to me uh, so I can practice with that camera so I can go to her event and take photos for her so I had this professional camera it was a Canon uh, Canon camera 650D I think if I'm not wrong it's been a while so I forgot uh, the model of it but um, so I had that camera and I was super excited so this was the first time that I um, I was about to bring a professional camera to take photos. Previously, I was taking photos with another semi-digital camera, uh, so it wasn't as good as I wanted to be. This was the first opportunity that I was like, "Cool, I can actually like take professional photos with it." I was extremely excited and I have photos from those days I'm literally like smiling with all my teeth and I'm like ah, this is so exciting so um, yeah anyway <laughs> I started taking photos and the photos were like beautiful for me at that time um, so I took the photos um, I tasted the food gave feedback and I was so nervous giving feedback as well. I I, um, I gave my own personal feedback, goods and bad and everything, but I wasn't sure what is the exactly right thing to do. And honestly, there isn't any like right way to give feedback. But um, if you're ever planning to like start a food account, um, I would say just keep in mind that these are all businesses, especially small businesses, they are putting a lot of effort trying to make these like dishes for you. So if you are visiting a place, don't try not to say like this food is really bad, this is horrendous, like horrible, whatever, like really like harsh comments because um, that, especially on social media, because that, that will only give uh, like a heartbreak and like really bad publicity for those um, places instead if you really think that something is wrong talk with the owner or talk with the chef or 
people that you can find talk with the waitress so that they can um, tell back to the restaurant what is wrong what what actually you prefer would be better just give them like a constructive feedback so that is what I learned uh, through the time don't judge people like don't say like yeah it was good and then go home and like write a bad review about them because it is very heartbreaking and no one deserves that bad publicity straight away give them a chance to like actually fix it or like take on take on board your review and um, if you for example are really upset about the experience something went horribly wrong then um, ask them even not to write a review or uh, things like that that will be even uh, a better option i think but again it's up to you uh, for me if i i had a horrible experience uh, i'll try to do these anyway uh, so that was the first time that I'm giving a review and also I'm posting on my Instagram and like things like that uh, So yeah, I that those were the things that when I was giving the review I said the things that I liked I, I said the things that would be like better if they are different and things like that and I posted those photos on my Instagram as well and that was the first professional <laughs> camera photos and after actually a while, uh, one of those photos uh, was used in the restaurant itself, um, so as, a, as one of the like options to pick and choose from, which was really nice. So those are like I will tell you about the perks and things that I happened throughout the throughout the journey. Okay, I need to sip my coffee. <laughs> okay, um, so. Uh, I went to my friend's uh, son's birthday and after I think like a week or something I told myself if uh, another restaurant contacts me and if they want me to visit them I will actually uh, get a professional camera myself and I, I wasn't like sh I, sure that I wanted to spend too much money on a professional camera yet because through this experience is very beautiful like I'm getting like tasting like new dishes going to new places but I wasn't earning money so I didn't want to invest in it straight away I wanted to see how it goes so I put like a criteria to myself like if another restaurant invites me then I'll get a camera, camera to myself so I can like see that how it goes and like professionally give it a go um, after I think a couple of weeks, I received another uh, request saying, Hey, we saw your photos, it looks really nice, would you like to come and try our food as well? And I was like, cool, okay, this is the sign that I was waiting for. I, uh, in that time actually, I contacted my friend and I said, uh, how much did you get your camera for? And um, like, what, what I should get, do you have any idea? And I started talking with her. And she said, actually, I have been thinking that like my iPhone is good enough for me because I, I don't want to carry that camera uh, with me all the time. So I am planning to like sell it secondhand. If you're interested, I can sell it to you. It's a good camera that I bought that I hardly used and it comes with a bag and everything. And that was my opportunity. So I thought it's a good price. I agreed with the things with her and I trusted her as well so if you're getting a secondhand camera just make sure that you trust that person because people drop their cameras and like things like that anyway so I um, got my first professional like camera that I started taking my food photos with from my friend and uh, it was the first time that I started like playing around with all the um, things that you can do with the camera, the light and everything and um, the more actually you use, the, the better you get obviously that is like uh, with most of the things the more you practice, the better you'll get and like learn more things uh, but especially with the photography don't get um, disheartened quickly uh, because there are lots of tips and tricks that you can learn and search and the more people you meet they'll tell also their tips and tricks as well so start somewhere and um, you will be getting better and better the more you practice anyway so I was invited to my third place and 
after a while I started following like um, the food bloggers on Instagram that I liked and I decided to reach out to them to learn like how they are doing and um, like if we wanted to like if they wanted to meet and like talk about what they're doing how they're doing because I'm really interested in this I want to learn more and like do the same um, so some of them go back to me yeah. saying like yeah hey, okay yeah we can like, meet yeah, definitely that that like where are like you based it. and all those things some of them didn't reply yeah, they and I was like cool them. whatever yeah, like people receive that's a lot of messages sometimes it's hard to like go through all of them and like reply all of them so there is no like if you ever send a message to like a blogger or a person that you follow on Instagram if they don't get back to get back to you straight away don't get disheartened and don't take it personally because everyone has their life and the things that are going on so um, you can definitely reach out uh, to people and I'll, I'll actually encur encourage you to reach out to the people that you think are interesting and uh, in the areas that are like um, they're working in the areas that you're interested and like willing to work in one day so reach out to those people and try to learn from them if they don't reply that's okay if they reply then it's your game so definitely reach out anyway um so i reached out and i i talked with them learned a couple of things from them and one of them recommended me to contact the PR agencies that are working in the food industry and explain like what you're doing, showcase your work and um, just just be in touch with them and see like what they say, what they recommend and like get feedback from them. So that is what I did. I found PR agencies that are working in London uh, in regards to food and restaurant industry and um, I, I prepared a professional email uh, like as if uh, you're a business in that sense that, that you are uh, putting uh, across all the work that you are doing, the things that you're interested to do and who you are so that they can get to know you and I sent a couple of emails. Um, so some of, some of them came back, some of them didn't come back, which is okay. Things happen, it's not like uh, the end of the world to not get a response from someone. And um, the people that, the agencies that got back to me, uh, I started working with them. So, uh, so what they were doing is, for example, there is a new restaurant that is opening. They were sending me a brief of the restaurant saying like, this restaurant is opening, the name of the restaurant, the location, what, what they are trying to achieve, what they're bringing new to the table, uh, what is the background story of the restaurant and things like that. And if I enjoyed um, the brief and like what they're doing and wanted to like try them, interested to try them and support them, then I was happy to say yes and they were arranging a time and I was going to the restaurant at that time and most of the time they were briefed that I was be there sometimes we had a couple of issues for example uh, I'll explain that um, that side as well um, but yeah most of the time it was really nice uh, so sometimes they give you a budget uh, for example like 100 pounds uh, to that you can spend on food and drinks sometimes they say it's gonna be like a three meal course sometimes they say choose whatever you want on the menu it depends on the restaurant and the collaboration and um, obviously the uh, how can i say the uh, the things that the restaurants can offer you as well that is in their marketing budget so that was really nice i was grateful for literally everything that i was doing because that is what i have been trying to achieve for all this time and the time this started happening was i believe when i was doing blogging for um, like the, my instagram and photography for um, maybe nearly a year so this is the time that it started happening for me so don't expect to like 
post tree fruit photos and like a PR agency to work with you, you have to put effort as well. So uh, you have to put your own time, uh, your own like budget and everything in this um, area as well. So whenever I was going out to like have food myself, I was going there and taking photos and uh, posting on my Instagram and things like that. So you have to put effort yourself as well. So it's, it's not gonna be like, hey, I'm a newbie food, uh, like, po like photographer or like I'm a newbie food influencer, like give me free food and like treat me. It's not gonna happen. Um, so you have to also put uh, effort yourself in a little bit investment uh, in your account yourself. And you have to really enjoy what you're doing to do it uh, regularly as well. So if this is something that you just want to do to like become famous or like uh, just get free stuff and you don't really enjoy it in the back, taking photos, meeting people, talking to chefs, trying food. If this is not something that excites you, then maybe this is not the best option for you because it takes a lot of time, effort, taking photos, editing and spending time in the restaurants. So just keep in mind uh, what goes into the accounts as well. It's, it's a very, very time consuming uh, effort. Anyway, so around one year, the peer agency started to reach out to me and I started working with them. The tips that I uh, want to give you working with um, other agencies, think yourself as a business. So uh, you are, you're a business providing um, a collaboration in exchange of food or maybe like money, money in that sense. So uh, be always like professional. Uh, so respond to emails uh, frequently, even if you don't want to do collaboration, say thank you, like this is my reason why I don't want to do the collaboration, uh, I appreciate your time reaching out to me, be kind, be responsible and uh, if you agree on, uh, for example, uh, if you say like the um, collaboration is to go there and post one photo to your Instagram for example, uh, they usually give you a time frame, like three to five days try to like respect that time frame because this is kind of like a business transaction as well so just uh, try to respect to be on time and respond your emails and be kind be respectful so those would be my um, tips engaging the peer agencies and that will also show your quality as well like um, if for example, if you were the peer agency, you wouldn't want to work with someone who's irresponsible, not responding your emails or uh, not doing what they have promised to do. That wouldn't be a nice engagement for them as well. So if you want to keep this relationship nice and uh, ongoing, uh, you also need to put, uh, put effort as well on your end. Um, so yeah, that, those... Uh, Collaborations, they grew over time. I started working with more and more PR agencies. They started finding me. Um, I also, like the small business owners, they started reaching out to me on Instagram uh, by themselves because they don't have, they're not working with big PR agencies, for example. They started reaching out to me on DMs and uh, things like that and asked me to visit their uh, restaurants, cafes, and pastry shops and I was really really enjoying it like um, I tried probably over 400 500 restaurants cafes pastry shops and things like that over uh, my time in London doing uh, food blogging and at some stage if you're doing what you enjoy what the place you can get is like you can try some place for breakfast, some place for lunch, some place for dinner and you can do it like literally every day. So this is possible if you are doing everything with your heart and you put effort in there and you're being a nice person and uh, you, you can achieve a lot of uh, nice things. So definitely if you're uh, interested uh, to become a food blogger, these are the like small steps that you can take. The 
one I think mistake um, that I have done is to reach out to some of the restaurants myself. This is not like a huge mistake, but at that time I didn't think of it in a way that, hey, like uh, I'm I'm here, like give me your food and I'll give you like a post type of an engagement. I really wanted to try some of their food, so I reached out, reached out to them asking like if they would be interested in doing a collaboration. But after a while, I started uh, realizing that it's not the best way to go forward, especially with the small businesses, uh, because they usually don't have that much budget and it, it kind of sometimes comes across you're being cheap or you're just asking for food and things like that. So if you are planning to start your journey now, don't straight like straight away reach out to like businesses demanding or like asking for like food and things like that that will come across um, not positively <laughs> I can say um, the other food the, the other uh, thing that I can say is like this is not a mistake but this is like a, a thing that I learned uh, throughout working with uh, people and chefs and everything um, oh there's a fly here. <laughs> okay, this is a coffee break actually. Before I give this tip, I've been talking for a really long time. Okay, so the other thing that I learned is um, if you, for example, visit a place, um, I tend to also like try to learn about the background of the restaurant and talk with the chef and ask if they are a small business if there's anything else you can do for them so even though if they don't ask you in the first place they sometimes are like a little bit shy or they don't want to like um, like push you too much or like ask too many things and scare you off and things like that but I believe they would really appreciate for example if you take um, 10 photos or 15 photos and you usually use like one for your Instagram maybe as an offer like as a thing uh, provide the rest of the photos if you're feeling comfortable with it to the restaurant so that they also have beautiful photos for their own Instagram and all their own social media or they can put it on the walls of the restaurant or like do anything with what they want because those uh, type of like small things, it won't cost you anything. Uh, maybe a little bit of more your time editing those photos and like sending them and uh, following up with them. But it will mean a lot to them. So in the future when they are, for example, uh, thinking about you or like talking about you, they always remember you thinking like, oh, this was a really nice collaboration or a really nice engagement. That person was um, very respectful, very kind, and they also like did this like very nice thing to me and provided all the photos to me. So um, be be nice and like generous with them as well because they're inviting kind of to their home and you can also like uh, give something back to them as well um, and also if you want to like uh, support the restaurants that you visit uh, i recommend following them on your instagram as well and um, like the accounts that you're using in social as well to um, support uh, their interactions and the things that they're sharing and that will mean a lot to them as well. Um, and comment on the event, tell your ideas, tell your thoughts and things like that. That will be very useful for them as well. So yeah, that was kind of um, how I started my food journey, food blogging journey, and what I did to um, grow my account and how my interactions would work with, with the agencies uh, were and the restaurants were and tips and tricks of that what you can do uh, throughout your journey as well uh, if you have any questions let me know i hope this was helpful for you uh, this was obviously my own journey 
there are, there are like lots of other food bloggers and lifestyle bloggers out there so uh, if you want to learn about their side of views and opinions uh, you can always reach out to them as well and usually the food bloggers are really nice people um, after meeting uh, a lot of them I'm, I'm very happy that I have been a part of this community as well this is actually uh, another thing that I wanted to share is when you start going to the PR event, um, lots of people also arrive to those events as well, uh, like with you, um, and you get to like meet people. And after a while, you recognize that you're actually going to those events with uh, people and friends, like they, they become your friends. Uh, so you can like have a small whatsapp group saying like hey I'm going to this event who's coming like who's also invited and um, take other bloggers with you so they can like help you with your photography and like things like that and I, I, I can also make another video if you're interested um, how like what are the tools that I use how I took my food photography as well this that is like a totally another <laughs> Uh, discussion video uh, that will be too long for this video but I can do that as well um, so yeah the people are very nice so if you are interested just reach out to them I don't think they'll um, they'll be like uh, snobby about things or not answer your uh, like messages they'll be actually very nice to you I know a lot of them personally and they're lovely people so if you're like curious about how things are happening just reach out to them as well um, and yes that is pretty much all my journey uh, probably there were like little like steps and things that I have done as well that I can't remember at, at this time but this was pretty much my whole um, Instagram food blogging journey hopefully you enjoyed it and again if you have any questions just reach out to me and see you in the next video <laughs> take care be safe be nice bye